been listening to music by Patrick Hawes called My Beloved Speck. Let us pray. We come to you, O Lord, as the day begins. As the sun rises, may your hope rise in us. As the birds sing, may your love flow out of us. As the light floods into this new day, May your joy shine through us. We come before you, O Lord, and drink in this moment of peace, that we may carry something of your hope, love and joy today in our hearts. Amen. We come now to our reading, and we are continuing today the story of Ruth. Our story today comes from chapter 3. One day, Ruth's mother-in-law, Naomi, said to her, My daughter, I must find you a home. My daughter, I must find you a home for you, where you will be provided for. Now Boaz, with whose women you have worked, is a relative of ours. Tonight he will be winnowing barley on the threshing floor. Wash, put on perfume, and get dressed in your best clothes. Then go down to the threshing floor. But don't let him know you are there until he has finished eating and drinking. When he lies down, note the place where he is lying. Then go and uncover his feet and lie down. He will tell you what to do. I will do whatever you say, Ruth answered. So she went down to the threshing floor and did everything her mother-in-law told her to do. When Boaz had finished eating and drinking and was in good spirits, he went over to lie down at the far end of the grain pile. Ruth approached quietly, uncovered his feet and lay down. In the middle of the night, something startled the man. He turned, and there was a woman lying at his feet. Who are you? he asked. I am your servant, Ruth, she said. Spread the corner of your garment over me, since you are a guardian redeemer of our family. The Lord bless you, my daughter, he replied. This kindness is greater than that which you showed earlier. You have not run after the younger men, whether rich or poor. And now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do for you all you ask. All the people of the town know that you are a woman of noble character. Although it is true that I am a guardian redeemer of our family, there is another who is more closely related than I. Stay here for the night, and in the morning, if he wants to do his duty as your guardian redeemer, good, let him redeem you. But if he is not willing, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it. Lie here until morning. 
So she lay at his feet until morning, but got up before anyone could be recognised. And he said, No one must know that a woman came to the threshing floor. He also said, Bring me the shawl you are wearing, and hold it out. When she did so, he poured into it six measures of barley and placed the bundle on her. Then he went back to town. When Ruth came to her mother-in-law, Naomi asked, How did it go, my daughter? Then she told her everything Boaz had done for her and added, He gave me these six measures of barley, saying, Don't go back to your mother-in-law empty-handed. Then Naomi said, Wait, my daughter, until you find out what happens, for the man will not rest until the matter is settled today. Thanks be to God. And now some more information and reflection on this passage under the title, A Surprising Proposal. The barley and wheat harvest take two months. Perhaps Naomi hopes Boaz will propose marriage to Ruth. In that society, the parents arrange marriage, normally by the respective fathers negotiating. That possibility is not open to Naomi, so she devises a daring and risky plan to persuade Boaz to marry Ruth. Ruth is to wash perfume herself and wear her best clothes, all marks of a woman prepared for her wedding. Then she is to go to Boaz at the public threshing floor at night. But that is a men's place, especially at night. The only women there would be prostitutes. Ruth may be seen by other men and attacked, particularly if they were drunk after harvest celebrations. And the outcome is entirely in Boaz's hands. He might take advantage of Ruth to have sex. Ruth raises the stakes even on this high-risk strategy. Boaz sleeps behind the grain heap, giving some privacy. Ruth's uncovering Boaz's feet causes him to shudder from the cold. A better translation of this word um, than the word startled. He wakes up to the shock of finding a woman there. It's dark and his initial assumption may be that this is a prostitute seeking custom, hence the question, who are you? Rather than follow Naomi's plan and wait for Boaz to tell her what to do, Ruth asks Boaz to spread the corner of his garment over her literally to spread the wing, using the same word we heard earlier. It is a Hebrew idiom for marriage that we hear in the book of Ezekiel. Remarkably, Ruth proposes marriage to Boaz, a daring request for a woman significantly younger than Boaz and a foreigner, and especially so in these circumstances. More, she urges him to act because he is a guardian redeemer with legal responsibility for caring for Elimelech's family. Boaz is willing, although he's surprised to have this proposal, recognising that Ruth could have sought a younger husband. However, another guardian redeemer is a closer relative so he has prior responsibility to Ruth and Naomi. Boaz honourably commits himself to act on this and to act quickly. Throughout, he invokes the Lord's name in thanksgiving. And as his witness, this is a godly man. Indeed, Boaz sends Ruth away with a gift of barley. Perhaps the first instalment or wedding gift to Naomi. Amen. And now we come to our prayers. We begin today by praying 
within our cycle of prayer for the people and the congregation of the Church of St Peter and St Paul in Appledore. We pray for Chris Self, our church warden there, and for all those who make this lively and vibrant community. We pray too for the forthcoming Flower Festival and give thanks to God for all those working hard to make this a successful event. In our diocese, our prayers today are for the parish of Cranbrook, St Dunstan. We remember the people there. And we pray too for the Diocese of Washington in the Episcopal Church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord of creation, whose glory is around and within us, open our eyes to your wonders, that we may serve you with reverence and know your peace in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May you, our God, who dances with creation, plants your likeness in the people and strikes the world with thunder, send us out to fill the world with love. Amen. <laughs>